Hello, this is Mike Zellers. For this class, I'm going to prepare uh, a series of short videos that will demonstrate some of the concepts and also some of the hands-on things in Access. It's not meant to replace the textbook, but kind of to highlight some of the high points to it and maybe get you through some of the trickier things. In this first video for Access, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a tour of some of the features of Access and show you what some of the things are in the Access window. And I'm also going to show you about converting a file from one version of Access to another. Files previous to Access 2007 were stored uh, with a .mdb extension. The file extension is usually the last three to five characters of the name, the, 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 thing, uh, the, the characters that follow the period uh, at the end of the file name. Some users have that turned off uh, on their machine. I, I, I urge most of my students to turn that on so they can see exactly what file types they're dealing with. To turn on to see your extensions, you would click on, let's see, View, Folder Options, View, and then you would click off Hide Extensions for Known File Types. That way you can see the .mdb or whatever, and again, for people that are, are, are stored with a .mdb extension. If I double-click on this file, it will open it up within Access 2007, which I have installed on this machine, and it will notice that that is an earlier version of the file and it will give me some options. I can either choose to upgrade it or not upgrade it. If I upgrade it, it will then uh, take the file and make uh, some conversion to it and allow uh, me to use Access 2007 with this database. Now the downside of that is that you will ne now not be able to use earlier versions of Access with it. So if there's a database that was shared between several people, and you upgraded to Access 2007, you would need to make sure that everyone had Access 2007 or you would not be able to get into it. Um, if you do not convert it, the downside is, is that you're limited to the things that uh, you can do with it within Access 2007. You can change the data and so on, but you, you can't make any design changes you like, such as adding tables and so on and so forth. Convert. It will now ask me where I want to save the converted file. And notice it's going to be saving it with a different extension. The pre-2007 extension was MDB. The extension going forward from 2007 on is ACCDB. So I will click Save. It will do its thing for a couple minutes and convert the, the, the database to the new format. Um, do not be surprised if there are some errors in conversion. And um, I believe a message is going to pop up saying that there are some errors. Um, you can see the details of those errors in a file, uh, which I'll show you in a minute here. So I will click OK. Um, it warns me again that I can no longer share this data with users of earlier versions of Access. So I click OK. And it will then open up the database in Access 2007. Let me show you a few different um, aspects of, of Access. External data allows you to bring stuff in from Excel or other Access databases. Access or database tools over here and add-ins. These are the things that you can do with Access. We'll probably be spending most of our time in the create section as we create and add things to our database. Um, if you notice this pane over here shows a list of all the objects in the database. Uh, that includes tables, the places where we store the data and it includes forms and reports and so on and so forth. You can change the look of this pane simply by clicking on this and saying, gee, I only want to see the things associated with categories. I only want to see forms uh, in, this data, uh, in this pane. So you can limit what you see in this pane. So I will say I want to see all access objects. Now I can see a list of all the tables, all the queries, and so on and so forth. Um, as a category table, and as you notice, as you double click on it over there, over here, a list of the categories that exist in the database uh, up here over here. And it's, it's almost like an Excel spreadsheet. You can go in and you can add data, uh, and so on and so forth. The conversion errors were put in a separate table called conversion errors, and there's some description that uh, relates to the manner in which uh, security was accomplished in Access. Uh, 
security uh, in Access was changed between 2007 and 2003, so that aspect of an Access database is actually not able to be converted. All right. <clears throat> We can see, for example, here's the orders table that shows a list of the customer, what they ordered, and so on and so forth. Let me close this again, and let's start from scratch to create a brand new access database, because that's the last thing I will want to do um, in today's video. I can go and click on Access. Once I get in the application, I can choose what kind of database I want. Now, Microsoft within this version of Access offers some templates. So if you're not, um, you know, if, if you want to, to uh, take a solution that they developed and simply expand it, you are welcome to do that. Class, most all the ones we create will be creating from scratch. Therefore, you will go in and you'll create a blank database. and you can go in here and you can choose to put it wherever you want and I will put it over here and I will call it new database click OK and then click create and when I'm finished it gives you a brand new table that you can start in entering data in and you can describe all the fields and columns and all that that are going to be in the database. Uh, that's not required for the first week. We will take a look at that uh, in subsequent weeks.